Crawl's coming back. Crawl is for movies. <laughs> Television has been a big focus of our attention right now, but there's still so much interest in what happens after Rise of Skywalker. So we're excited to be doing that now. As we move into the future space, which this story is about 15 years outside of Rise of Skywalker, obviously we realize post-war, post-First Order, Rise of the New Jedi Order, um, we left Episode Nine with Rey making a commitment to Luke Skywalker that she would rebuild the Jedi Order. And so here we are. We're ready to do that. and. It took a lot of discussion because obviously we've been de developing stories in different spaces. Dave's been developing Star Wars storytelling inside Clone Wars, Rebels. I, I hesitate to say it's a big meetup from just those three because so much of the work that he has done for 20 years. So it'll be little bits of all of that. As you saw in this presentation, he's introducing Thrawn. That's from Timothy Zahn's book. Um, so there's a lot of sources he's drawing from to see where we're going. We've been talking a lot about going well into the past, and one of the things that's really knitting this all together, obviously, are the Jedi. What happened with the Jedi over time, much like history, really. How did the Jedi evolve? They were wiped out with Order 66, then they gradually have been coming back. The question that we're gonna ask with New Jedi Order and with Rey is, does the galaxy need them anymore? Do they want them back? So there's, there's a lot of food for thought in what we're doing, whether it's in the past, present, or future. There's so many things we can do in streaming now where we, we do massive effects. We, we really you know, increase the scale and size of these stories. And I certainly find myself personally looking at, well, what is that distinction? that moves something onto the big screen versus the smaller screen. And it's usually the intimacy of the character-driven stories that you try to really push in the, in the television space, and then the spectacle that you can still preserve in the movie space. You know, I always hesitate to say, no, we won't do anything more with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Maybe what we end up doing is something that gets incorporated into some of the other stories we're doing or eventually into a movie. Who knows? Um, but right now, it's it's still our standalone limited series. We're not, we have no plans for expansion right now. In the case of the High Republic, there's been some wonderful storytelling that's gone on there. It's not necessarily what Leslie is doing with Acolyte, but it certainly opens up the possibilities for being able to tell stories in that space. But what's interesting in the company that we do is Everybody across all these different lines of business, we all talk to one another. So, you know, that often doesn't happen in situations like this, but because Lucasfilm, so many of the people are used to working together, we, we, we're very transparent about what the storytelling is that's going on, whether it's in the streaming space or the movie space or books, animation, games, whatever it is. Eventually, it'll be some kind of immersive entertainment. You know, there's so many things we talk about just in terms of how we use technology with ILM inside the company. So this constant cross-pollination of ideas to determine just exactly what stories move into the movie space, what stories move into the TV space, um, you never know because the creative process is very similar in all of those different spaces. And so you don't have a crystal ball. You see what works, and then if it does, you draw from that. Visions, I think that's one of the most interesting initiatives we have right now because we're working with animation studios all around the world and a lot of different talent in addition to the amazing talent we have in-house. So yeah, I, I think animation, what's interesting is all these different art forms really are merging in certain ways. So there's a lot of what we do in special effects and things that we're doing in animation where there's a connection between the two and what that may end up creating down the road could be really exciting, something we've never really seen before. And that's, you know, it's another great thing about Lucasfilm is because we have the technology piece inside of the creative community in our company. We're, we're all working together to try to drive that.